I'm going back to symmetry here. So there's another timbre right there. And in case you're curious or you kind of missed some of the previous segments here, uh, symmetry is the one that adjusts the position of both the upper and the lower folding levels in reference to the, uh, the zero line. In case you're wondering about that. So I'm going to keep that timbre right there and then I'm going to adjust my harmonics up a little bit. Getting some really nice squelchy sounds right there. I think I found a nice little squelchy sweet spot right there. And I'm just going to bring my multiples down a little bit. I'm going to keep that and I'm actually bring my octave down, one octave. So I'd like to hear what that sounds like in a lower octave. And let me go over to my oscilloscope, and hopefully I can do this effectively. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit, see if we can get a better shot of that. I think I went a little bit too far. Let me try and get back in there. I may have been in the ideal range before. Let's try right about there. And let's make a few adjustments now if I go over here. And bring my multiples back down. Now let me adjust the harmonics a little bit. Now we got a little bit of a different timbre right there, almost a uh, pulse shape. Definitely pulse sounding for sure. I'm going to go back to symmetry and adjust that a little bit. Now moving on to folding level. And on our scope, you can see we're kind of in that range of pulse waveforms. Now we're kind of leaving that range a little bit. And I'm just kind of exploring a little bit here to find something I like. Okay, now right there I'm not really sensing a lot of movement, so I'm going to jump back to symmetry. Maybe adjust that a little bit. Not seeing any effects there. Let me go back to multiples. Adjusting harmonics. So we just find an interesting timbre. Sounds a little different. Now let me go with the folding level a little. Multiples. Back to harmonics. Just keep your eye on the oscilloscope. There we go. Kind of getting into a nice range there. Let me adjust my magnification here a moment. Now let me go back to my folding level. I want to kind of stay in that little timbre range, so I'm going to stay there and maybe adjust symmetry a little. There we go. So you can see that there's a wealth of different types of waveforms that you can achieve with this one module, even with just a few very subtle changes to the four parameters that are at your disposal right there in the A137. And that was just with a triangle wave. Let's just try playing around with that signal a little bit more, and then we'll go on to our next waveform. And go ahead and look at the waveform there. Let me bring up the octave. There we have quite a distinctive shape. It's almost like a sine wave, but it's got a little bit of a warp there in the middle. 
And then I'm adjusting folding level here to kind of increase that. Little notch in the middle right there. Now I'm going into symmetry again. Let me just go through the full range right there because I'm seeing something pretty interesting right there. So I'm going to go all the way to the right and then look at the waveform right there on the oscilloscope. And so this is my setting over here at the A137. Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction, the counterclockwise direction, and then watch the oscilloscope. So right about there, I'm at about, let's see what is that, about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And that's our waveform. Now I'm going to go a little further. And you can kind of see that movement at the oscilloscope. Let me just kind of quickly move it. You just keep your eye on the oscilloscope. And I'm just going to leave it there in about the middle position. Pretty close to it anyway. Okay, now I'm going to adjust the folding level a little. again. Okay. So there we go. That's some processing with the triangle wave. So that's going to be the first segment with our A137 and audio processing with this guy. Uh, we're going to keep it limited to simple waveforms. So in the next video, because I don't want to take this too far, uh, we're going to dive into an exploration of the sine wave. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for that and you'll join us. So thanks for watching.